now the equation for the frequency resonant frequency is given by one frequency is equal to 1 by rho 2 pi root lc as l increasing the frequency is decreasing r or c is increasing frequency is decreasing how this is happening if l is increasing if l is increasing means the inductance is increasing when the inductance is increasing means the when a current is passing through it most of the energy is taken by the inductor so the rate of change of current will be very less if the inductance is higher the inductance take the energy from the electrons passing through it most of the energy is taken by the inductor when inductor takes most of the energy the current the force on the electron decreases so the current decreases if this is the current for an inductor of a high value that means the current is increasing very slowly in this inductor if the inductor has a less value that that means the inductor takes less energy so that more current can go through the circuit for the same same time if this is the time 5 micro if if is a 5 microsecond in the 5 microsecond if the inductance is very low in, if the inductance is very low most more current will be flow the average current will be more so more current will be flow to the capacitor if the inductance is high the inductance does not allow more energy to go it takes the energy from the these electrons and the rate at which the current is increasing is very less so the capacitor is charging slowly if you say that this is one volt if the inductance value is high the capacitor the, as the current is low the capacitor takes more time to get one volt on the other hand if the inductor value is if the inductor value is very less the inductor will not take more energy so more current will flow through the circuit and the capacitor will be charged very soon so the frequency will decrease the equation for the capacitor is equal to c is equal to q by v that means in order to occupy one volt if the capacitance is high more charge is required more charge is required if the in inductor is kept, is kept constant and we have changed the capacitor, capacitor to a higher value more current is required to pro produce one volt then also the frequency will decrease if you reduce the value of the capacitor if you decrease the value of the capacitor less charge is needed to get one volt so if you increase the value of the inductor or the capacitor the time to charge to the one particular voltage is more and if if we reduce the value of the inductor of the capacitor then it will reach the voltage more early from this equation we can know that this is how the frequency is determined by the lc combination this is two lc circuit one is series lc circuit and another is parallel lc circuit how this circuit is working if we say that if a frequency is induced in this inductor in this coil and if this frequency is equal to the resonating frequency of this inductor that means the reactance of the the frequency at which the reactance of the inductor is equal to the reactance of the capacitor is called resonance frequency at that frequency the voltage across the capacitor is equal to the voltage across the inductor this is shown here the y this this is the voltage across the inductor and this is the voltage across the capacitor capacitor they are opposite but they are equal but opposite in direction so the total voltage will be there will be no voltage across if we measure the voltage across these points there will be no voltage across this at resonant frequency so in order to select a particular frequency if we want a particular frequency if we select the 
ഇൻഡക്ടർ ഇൻഡക്ടർ ആൻഡ് കപ്പാസിറ്റർ അറ്റ് എ പർട്ടിക്കുലർ റെസ്റ്റോറൻറ്റ് ഫ്രീക്വൻസി ഫിഫ്റ്റി കിലോ ഹോട്ട്സ് ഇഫ് ദ റെസ്റ്റോറൻറ്റ് ഫ്രീക്വൻസി ഫിഫ്റ്റി കിലോ ഹോട്ട്സ് അറ്റ് ഫിഫ്റ്റി കിലോ ഹോട്ട്സ് ദിസ് ബോത്ത് ദ റിയാക്ഷൻസ് വിൽ ബി ഈക്വൽ സോ ദിസ് വിൽ ബി ആൻഡ് ദ ബോത്ത് ദ വോൾട്ടേജ് വിൽ ബി ക്യാൻസൽ ദ വോൾട്ടേജ് അക്രോസ് ദിസ് വിൽ ബി ക്യാൻസൽ ബൈ ദ വോൾട്ടേജ് അക്രോസ് ദിസ് സോ ദിസ് വിൽ ആക്ട് ലൈക്ക് എ ഷോട്ട്സ് ആൻഡ് മാക്സിമം കറണ്ട് വിൽ ഫ്ലോ ത്രൂ ദ സർക്യൂട്ട് ഇഫ് യു പുട്ട് എ റെസിസ്റ്റർ ഹിയർ ആൻഡ് മെഷർ ദ വോ കറണ്ട് ത്രൂ ഇറ്റ് ആൻഡ് മെഷർ ദ വോൾട്ടേജ് മാക്സിമം കറണ്ട് വിൽ ഫ്ലോ അറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ഫ്രീക്വൻസി ദ ഇഫ് ദ റെസിഡൻറ്റ് ഫ്രീക്വൻസി ഇസ് ഫിഫ്റ്റി കിലോ ഹോട്ട്സ് ആൻഡ് ദ കം ഇൻകമിങ് ഫ്രീക്വൻസി ഇസ് ഇൻഡ്യൂസിങ് എ വോൾട്ടേജ് ആൻഡ് ദ ഇൻകമിങ് ഫ്രീക്വൻസി ഇസ് ഫിഫ്റ്റി കിലോ ഹോട്ട്സ് അറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ഫ്രീക്വൻസി മാക്സിമം കറണ്ട് ഈസ് വിൽ ബി അവൈലബിൾ അറ്റ് ദിസ് റെസിസ്റ്റർ സോ ഇനോർ ടു സെലക്ട് എ പർട്ടിക്കുലർ ഫ്രീക്വൻസി വി ക്യാൻ യൂസ് ദിസ് ഇൻഡക്ടർ കപ്പാസിറ്റർ സീരീസ് കോമ്പിനേഷൻ Now, if we look at the parallel capacitor and inductor combination, it is just opposite to that of the series. If the series is parallel, then the inductor capacitor is parallel to the series. If the series is parallel, then the inductor capacitor is parallel to the series. If the series is parallel, then the inductor capacitor is parallel to the series. If the series is parallel, then the inductor capacitor is parallel to the series. If the series is parallel, then the inductor capacitor is parallel to the series. If the series is parallel, then the inductor capacitor is parallel to the series. If the series is parallel, then the inductor capacitor is parallel to the series. If the series is parallel, then the inductor capacitor is parallel to the series. If the series is parallel, then the inductor capacitor is parallel to the series. If the series is parallel, then the inductor capacitor is parallel to the series. If the series is parallel, then the inductor capacitor is parallel to the series. If the series is parallel, then the inductor capacitor is parallel to the series. If the series is parallel, then the inductor capacitor is parallel to the series. If the series is parallel, then the inductor capacitor is parallel to the series. If the series is parallel, then the inductor capacitor is parallel to the series. If the series is parallel, then the inductor capacitor is parallel to the series. If the series is parallel, then the inductor capacitor is parallel to the current flowing through this will be equal to the current flowing through this this but they are in opposite or like opposite direction so that will be cancelled so it will act like a act like a open circuit for the incoming so at that time maximum voltage will be if you take the voltage at that frequency we will get maximum voltage now how this parallel circuit is working at frequencies less than the resonant frequency if the incoming frequency is less the inductor will act like a short circuit and more current will flow through this so the voltage out the output will be less if the frequency is higher than resonant frequency then the capacitor acts like more like a short circuit and most of the current will flow through that so then then also the voltage at the output will be less if the capacitive reactance and inductive reactance both are equal at that time the full voltage appear across the output this is how a series resonance circuit and parallel resonance circuit working and using these properties we can select a particular frequency that are transmitted